If you haven't noticed yet, I was lifting a tire today, a big ass tire, to put on the back of a Grumman Olsen truck, it's a work truck of mine, and it sounded like something went pow, it was a loud pop on the inside of my elbow, and um, immediately my bicep just kind of like got balled it up in a big knot so I went to the hospital what happened was the tension 
that holds your bicep to the bottom part of your arm ruptured and broke completely loose. So my bicep on my right arm is not attached to anything right now. So I gotta go to an orthopedic surgeon and get an operation, get it fixed, and I'm not gonna be able to use that arm for another six months. So I'm restoring this pretty much with one hand. So don't have any use of this hand at all. It's in a sling. It's in a big knot. But I like restoring stuff because it keeps your mind off of kind of what's really going on. And uh, it's either this, it's nighttime, or just sit around. That's when you start thinking all kinds of shit like, oh man. So, I'm going to be doing this in, I guess, my next several restorations. With one arm. And I'm right-handed, so it's the right arm that's messed up. So, very rarely do I do anything with my left arm, but whole stuff, you know. And I do all the restoring restorations and stuff with the right hand so maybe in the next six months by the time it's all right again so don't want to mess it up so you have to drill a hole in the bone and anchor the tendon I'll be ambidextrous <laughs> be able to, so right now is the first time I've used my left hand for doing anything like this so might look like I'm kind of struggling with this, but I'm sure somewhere in the world there's somebody that doesn't have use of either hand, and they're right doing something that's restoring something some kind of way, even if they do it with their feet, whatever. And I'm, not only that, I'm going to try to go to work tomorrow, do some carpentry work with one arm. Remember one time I broke my ankle. Nine screws and a plate on my ankle. And I went to work doing trim work upstairs in a two story house. And uh, I was crawling up to people's steps on my hands and knees, carrying tools in my teeth and with my good arm, or my two arms, whatever. And I worked all day out there putting that trim up, building that stuff for that lady. And he made it really nice. She was really happy with it. But I stood on one foot all day when I did it. So I'm not going to let this stop me from doing what I like doing. But, yeah, you'll notice on this video and the next couple of videos that I'm going to be kind of struggling doing stuff. I enjoy making videos too. Once in a while you might see me pause and then when I stop back again, a screw might be gone. <laughs> hey, can you hold this? <laughs> like, <clears throat> I think you can like turn that out of there. <sighs> No, 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 that's okay. No. No, I gotta prove, I gotta, I gotta do this myself. I gotta figure out how to do it with one hand. You know you're recording. I know. I generally don't talk on my restoration videos, but this one's a little different. So I don't generally do restorations with one arm. They told me not to use this arm. I'm not using the arm, I'm using the hand. But see, when you lose that, when that tendon detaches, what happens is, either you get the surgery or you lose 40% of your strength and you don't have any strength turning stuff like with turning screwdrivers and stuff, moving your wrist or whatever. I guess it's another muscle, some kind of way that compensates for it, but 
that tendon was like a, it was like a rubber band and just stretched and it went like pop pow and automatically now you like your muscles kind of your biceps kind of stretched down and normal looking when that tendon breaks loose what happens is it's not anything there to pull it out where it's supposed to be so it gets in this big knot and they call it pop out muscle or pop out arm or something so all of a sudden it looks like i got this great big ass bicep i probably did it to myself too years of lifting weights and not being careful but See how long it's taking to get this one screw out of here. I can barely hold this screw. But look, it's like anything that you put your mind to. But you keep working at it. And if you don't want to wallow that screw head at it, just take your time. Eventually, you'll get it. It'll get done. It'll get done. at it again so right now I'm gonna try to do it all by myself but when I get this surgery you may end up seeing a couple of extra hands in here because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it even hold anything with one hand so I can come in here and bring my vice in here and mount it to the workbench Right now, I just got this little this little vice right here. And it could be helpful, I guess. It's an old antique jeweler's, jeweler's vice. When I long ago, I got a comment. I always read the comments on my videos where somebody was saying that they take their vice like that and they take the Dremel with the wire wheel or the grinding wheel or whatever. Put it in the vise and actually hold whatever it is that they're grinding with their hand because they got more control of it. So I never thought of that. So I did that in one of my last videos. It ended up working out really well. So. Man. So you never really realize what you what you got until you lose it, huh? Take your arm, both your arms for granted. At least I did. Because usually I would have been had that screw out of there a long time ago. where it can be much longer than what it is. Damn. Wow. It's a long screw. I think these screws have been out of here for a long time. I had to take my Dremel and clean the screw heads out to even they can get a screwdriver in it. Some things take persistence, you just don't give up at it, you just keep going. Uh oh. Look at 
actually, if you keep working at something, you'll get it. Another thing is, all these fingers are numb. So you can't really feel what I'm doing. A lot of part of restoration, and you don't realize that it's feeling what you're doing. that out of there normally I would take a punch and tap it with a hammer but right now that can't happen Yeah, I did that with one hand. Now, yeah. you gotta separate this. the struggle right there taking all of that apart So I went on and I got that bicep distal tendon rupture surgery and what they did was they made an incision right there right past my elbow and they took the tendon cut the end of it off and then they what they did was they stretched it down they took a drill and drilled a hole through the bone and they took that tendon and they pushed it down through that hole and I don't know if you can see it or not but right there on that back side they cut another hole I don't not quite sure what they did there I think it was to line up an anchor where it holds it through the other side of the bone so in the first part of the video you can see where i was kind of using this hand a little bit when i was doing the restoration of that paint scraper right there but i can't do that no more now i gotta um now i gotta do everything with my left arm so what i did was i had my wife screw this vise down to the worktop and this is going to be my right hand from the rest of this video and for the next couple of ones I might just do something simple the next one I'm not sure yet I know a little bit more what my limitations are trying to do things everything with my left hand and using this little vice right here which is really interesting I'll show you a little more here in a couple of minutes what that vice does when I mount the camera up on that tripod right there because right now I'm holding it with my left hand so I really can't show you I with my right hand, um, 
I have no rotation like this. And had I not got that surgery, I would have lost like 40 to 50% of my strength. My bicep would have, would have atrophy in my bicep. And then after a certain point, would no longer be able to have gotten that surgery. So I, had, I just decided to go ahead on and do it and everything. And uh, because I do, I do a lot of work with my hands and uh, out on the field with my job where I work, what I do and uh, with these restorations and everything. and. The thought of not being able to even turn a screwdriver or anything way outweighed the, uh, what I had to go through with this surgery. I'm at a point right now where I can't do anything with this arm for five weeks until my next appointment and uh, should be completely rehabilitated in about another seven, six, seven more months. I'm not sure exactly. I got an appointment with physical therapy on Thursday, so I'll let you know. But. I'm gonna go ahead on and finish this paint scraper restoration here, and I'm gonna be doing it completely with my left hand. And I had to apologize, but the camera might be a little shaky. Things might take a little extra long, but I'm not gonna take any shortcuts or anything like that. I'm gonna do it the same as I would do it if I had both hands. So we're gonna go ahead on now and finish this paint scraper restoration.